The Tree of Love. One day, Billy the Bluebird asked Oliver the Old Oak Tree, What is love? So Oliver the Old Oak Tree spoke to the little bluebird with delight and glee. Love is when you beautifully care for someone entirely and deeply. You might be surprised to see that there are some sure signs of how you can recognize love in all its glory. I will tell you some of these now, so listen carefully. I will say love is patient. Truly a long day of waiting to give a compliment to someone who underwent some discontent is a long day well spent. Because even a small moment of love is a great event. So remember, just your time and gentle presence with someone suffering an ailment is a good gift and the perfect present. Love is kind. So if I'm to love all of the time, I must joyfully share what is mine, the same way the sky sweetly shares its sunshine with all the different types of plants and animals you can find. Now it's a must that I tell you love truly trusts, just as a thrush trusts to find food amongst the brush. So like a song burn relies on the seeds in the sunflower, we must know all along that love is the greatest power. What I will tell you next is that love always protects. Just as we expect the affectionate mother bird to peck at all the mean pests trying to collect her beloved eggs from her nest, we must do our best to protect our friends and family and even to protect all the rest. And let me make it clear that love always perseveres, just like when a deer hears big bears coming near. The adult deer does not faint with fears, and she doesn't give up even when her children are in frightful tears. She stands tall and waits for the danger to disappear. Then she gives thanks when the coast is all clear. Love hopes on the best and never mopes when life seems a mess. Love always hopes things will get better, just as when a fisherman hopes the boat will stay afloat in the moat in stormy weather. The fisherman hopes for the sun, and then the sun appears in the sky before the day is done. Truly, it is just the same way with love. Now when I say this, it is not a tall tale. I say to you, love never fails, and it can give strength to those who are frail. So use love in your life, and you will always prevail. Love so much that if your love was measured, its weight would break the scale. Let your loving heart grow even bigger than a whale. So, little bird, my definition is done. Now I want you to go and love everyone, like it's your last day, like you're giving your last kiss and hug. Love just the way you should and you can say your life has been lived for good. And that's what the little bird did exactly. He lived honorably, never boasting proudly or being angered easily. Every day of his life, he just loved completely, and that made him truly free. The End